Good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle and this must be amongst the favored arenas of supporters all over the world it really does have a very special feel to it we have already started here It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Hoists it forward. Battles to win it back. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement? Forget it. A chance to play it in. Massive leap! get his head on that but couldn't score Tunisia can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source a little accusatory stare there tells the whole story ah quality deserted them when they really needed it to throw keeps everyone guessing Kasri out to the right oh that's nice He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Tries to locate someone up front. Tries to get it forward quickly. Sackney. That is an adventurous run down the left-hand side. Lovely feet. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. And that's going to be a booking. The players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. And here's Kasri. It's a good looking cross. And it's played forward. Forward it goes. Gets it back. Hoists it forward. Goalkeeper's ball. And we hit half-time. So another team has broken through. 
He's up for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goalless. It's the first half compared with your expectation. It's been a pretty abject performance. No effort at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And we are already promptly back on the way. A tight old game so far. Can that change now? And it's played forward. Played back in. And here's Kashri. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. Now it's Kashri. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Tries to get it forward quickly. Hoists it forward. It's put paid to a promising move. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. A really good feat. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Turns and goes back. Sakni. Sakni's cross. Spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. It's intriguingly poised for me, and players are thinking, well, should we stay or, or should we go? I'd like to think fortune favours the brave. And I'm urging them to, to be bold and go for it. And it's played forward. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Sackney. Oh, that's neat. So time is nearly up. One final twist, perhaps. Nicely controlled. Played into the middle. Up to meet it! Oh, it's in! Finally, finally, finally! Tunisia are so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through wonderful passing and movement and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal count.
Tunisia take... And there goes the final whistle.